invest $200 million into a new public transportation system for downtown Tulsa. Now, supporters say it will be faster and more efficient than the current bus routes. Critics say it's expensive and unnecessary. 2 News reporter Krista Flash outlines the proposal in tonight's segment two. Ashley Corker rides the bus to work two days a week. I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area, and I was just used to taking public transit, mostly the metro. She could easily drive her car, but chooses the bus. There's um, kind of a bad stigma with public transit in Tulsa. Like, you, you only ride it if you don't have any other option, and that's just not true. Tulsans do love to drive. After all, this is Route 66 territory. The area also boasts one of the fastest commutes in the country. That's why some question the need for a commuter rail system. It's a lot of money. Where are we getting it? Where is it going to come from? A passenger train is a key component of the new downtown Tulsa master plan, which has yet to be approved by city council. Communities that are growing right now uh, are those that attract and keep the younger generation. Senior planner Steve Carr says Tulsa can't afford to ignore current transportation trends. The growth in Tulsa was historically based on rail. Uh, rail was what led people to travel, allowed them to travel, and that accessibility and visibility, of course, made the land around it valuable. We believe the same is absolutely true today. The three-mile commuter rail would run from the OSU Tulsa campus to downtown and over the Arkansas River to 23rd and Jackson. The new lines would be built parallel to existing tracks, which are used for commercial freight traffic. Unlike the bus, passengers could hop on a train every 10 minutes. The project is getting a major head start from the Oklahoma Department of Transportation. ODOT is replacing the current I-244 bridge over the Arkansas River with a double-decker bridge, which includes a passenger rail line. Construction is expected to begin next year thanks to a $50 million federal stimulus grant. The city estimates it'll take another $150 to $200 million to finish the rest. Taxpayers will likely be asked to pay for part of that bill. Convincing people to vote for that when they see we have a real practical solution uh, in the transit we believe that the people will actually jump on board and strongly advocate for that advocates believe rail will not only serve as a catalyst for development it will also convince young professionals like corker to stay krista flash two news works for you Krista, thanks. Now, Tulsa's Planning Commission will hold a hearing next Tuesday on the $1.5 billion master plan, which also includes a two-mile trolley. To see where the project will go, you can head to our website, kjrh.com, and click on Segment 2. And while you're there, vote in our online poll. We want your opinion. Is it worth $150 to $200 million for commuter rail in